Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Social Live, the only live show where we recap the latest social media news you may have missed. It's your weekly social media quickie. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Courtney, and we're coming to you live from our Social Fly office, and we are on Simply Fit Boards, as you can see, and I needed to get on this Simply Fit Board right away <laughs> after my vacation in Tulum. I a lot of tacos and I gotta shred them and Simply Fit Board is the perfect way to do that. It's such an easy and fun exercise that you can do with your bestie. And you can do it while you are watching Social Live, while you're Staring working, at each other. <laughs> or at home while you're watching TV. It is a very simple and easy exercise and great if you want to lose a couple inches oh around, God, the, around the waistline. And I bet some of our viewers already have a Simply Fit board. Um, if you were targeted with a Facebook ad, or maybe you saw a Simply Fit board on Shark Tank, but if you don't have one, these can be yours. If you share this episode and tag a friend, you guys will be entered to win your very own Simply Fit boards. And now you can watch Social Live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. while you're twisting away. Twisting. This is so much fun. Fun. It's pretty easy to use too, and I really feel the burn. I have a little cramp. I've already been doing this for Adriana. How many minutes have I been doing this for? One minute. One minute, <laughs> 60 seconds, and I feel like I've had a one hour workout, so this is good. Ooh. And I have a surprise for you, Courtney, that I didn't Ooh. want to share with you. I'm I wanted to love bring surprises. you love surprises. I no, wanted no. to bring you back to <laughs> your days in Tulum that are so far away now. And Christy, while you were it was away, just yesterday, I actually. know. <laughs> Christy discovered a very cool foodie Instagram trend the other day called Fruita Pop, and we're gonna try it, and you'll see why it's gonna bring you back to Tulum. Yeah, so today we have Fruita Pop Pop Tails, is what they call them. So basically, what they are is they're your favorite popsicles from when you were growing up, but they have alcohol in them. An adult twist. An adult twist, so it's super fun. I'm loving them um, for the summer just because, like, everyone loves obviously popsicles during the summer because it's super hot out, especially in New York. And everyone loves having a nice drink, you know? When you've been working a long week, it's nice to have a drink. So now you can have them in popsicle form and they're really fun. They have cute little labels on them and you can find them on Instagram at Fruita Pop. And so we have some to try today. Anyone want to pick first? I do. Do we have mango? I that will guess. really bring me back to Tulum because I had the best be. tasting mangoes when I was there. This would probably <laughs> yeah. be your best bet. Ooh. And they have a bunch of flavors on their website. They have um, around like 20 flavors. They have like watermelon margarita. They have um, Ooh, cherry coke and rum. They have um, <laughs> coconut rosé, which I think <laughs> sounds super <laughs> yummy. So we're just going to go ahead and try these. Chrissy, why do you think these have taken off on social media? I think, honestly, oh, there's such a nostalgia <laughs> factor because they're just like Otter Pops from when you were little. Oh, wait, yes. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. Guys, hello. Cheers. Cheers. Wednesday. Cause I think you forgot to open mine. No, I caught them all. Here. Here. Yeah. So like, so there's a black bag. We have black bag. Oh my yeah, god. Yep. What do they taste like, Caitlin? Um, summer. It's like summer. The best way I can put it. Yeah. Okay. They taste like summer. They taste like summer. I think watermelon. I can barely taste the alcohol. Oh, it's a little bit like blue. Oh, so what was the black bag? Like and dangerous. Yeah, this is dangerous. I feel like these can. Uh, mm. What's yours? Tastes like rosé. Is this mango? This tastes like mango. Oh, this is delicious. So do you just get these online? Yeah, you can order them online, and then they're selling them at select venues around New York. Um, I know at Pergola they have the lilac pop. Ooh. So there's a bunch of different options, but online you can purchase most of the boozy pops. And then they also sell, Fruita Pop also pop. has coffee pops, which I think would be really fun to try. Mm -hmm. Eat, yes. Drink them in the morning, eat them in the morning, and then they also have just regular fruit pops. And I can drink anywhere, wow. anytime, on the go. <laughs> or on the Simply Fit Board. Uh -huh. Exactly. Is that safe? Can you twist on the Simply Fit Board while you're drinking fruit? Do pop? not I drink, drink and twist. So don't do this don't, don't drink and twist. Don't, 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 oh, wow. I'm going to watch you drink and twist at the end of this episode. Uh, I don't know. I didn't advise it, so I don't know. <laughs> well, speaking of things that are trending on Instagram, Instagram had a very big update yesterday. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Uh, Instagram launched location stories and hashtag stories. And this is something we were waiting for after last week's update when we saw that we could tag uh, hashtags within Instagram yeah. stories. So Caitlin, show us exactly how this works All so right. everyone at home can see. Can someone hold my fruit pop? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna eat okay, it. so I love this update. 
What you can do is you can search a location on Instagram. So obviously I picked Shake Shack in Madison Square Park. And what you can do is you click right up here and now I can see all of, oops, sorry, there you go, all of the stories that have been taken at or been tagged with the Madison Square Shake Shack location tag. So this is really great for uh, brands and businesses who uh, want to encourage their customers to take photos yep. and share their stories yep. on Instagram. Now you can see exactly what's going on at your favorite location. You know what this is really great for? Let's say you want to go to a restaurant and you're not sure if it's really busy. You don't want to pick up the phone and call because you know who talks on the phone anymore. You can just go on Instagram and see who's there and see if the scene looks good. I like yeah, it. I no, like I it. it. I, I actually great. found out about this feature while I was on the beach. A lot of my Instagram stories got featured at the different Ooh. hotels I was at, and it was so exciting. Yeah. Courtney's fancy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very fancy. But I love this update. I'm really excited to see how brands are going to utilize it. Um, and another exciting update as well. Oh yes, so now on Instagram, you can actually archive some of your photos. Mm -hmm. So this is great, let's say you're in a relationship, you break up, or maybe you're in a fight and you don't want people to see your photos of your boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. anymore. Now you can archive these photos instead of completely deleting them. Uh, so that's how, you know, you would maybe use it that way. Well, I think it's pretty cool. I always, well, I always wonder, hopefully I don't ever have to use this feature, <laughs> but I always wonder, like, if people break up with their boyfriend or their girlfriend, the first thing that they do is they go to their Instagram feed and they delete all evidence of ever dating them. But there has been instances where they get back together and now their entire feed is gone of all the awesome photos they took previously. So now this is a good way, I guess, to kind of go around that. Instagram's but. always one step ahead. And for brands, this is great because let's say you're running a really cool campaign, the campaign ends and it doesn't make sense to have the photos or videos on your yeah. feed anymore, now the brands can archive it. So loving this update from Instagram. One more good one from Instagram one too more. is hashtag stories. So I can show you actually here if you can see. Social live, so there's only one right now, but if you click on this, you can actually now see stories in the same way that locations um, are aggregating all their stories. You can do the same thing with hashtags. So this is also really cool. All right, go Instagram. Yep. And then, of course, we can't talk about Instagram without their arch nemesis, Snapchat. And Snapchat did a little thing called clapping back. Yes, Courtney. And Good they job. clap back and they <laughs> launched group stories. So yes. now, let's say you're having a wedding, a bachelorette party, any kind of event, you can make a story with your friends and everyone can share their different snaps from the events and everyone yeah. can see what went on and you can see all the different perspectives. And I love this. Really, idea. really cool. I can't I recently, wait for Instagram to steal this one. I know. Well, I recently went on a bachelor party, a um, number of bachelor parties, one specifically in Vegas, and we all had to download this app so we can share all of the pictures and, and videos that we took. This would have been a great solution for that. So I'm excited for this. It's Another cool. update from Snapchat that Courtney will be waiting to roll to Instagram next yeah. week. But speaking of <laughs> the batch, bachelorette parties, the yes. bachelorette premiered on ABC on Monday night at 9 p.m. And we were talking about this last week mm -hmm. because usually they release all of the men who are gonna be on the show several weeks ahead of time. But ABC waited until the last minute. They decided to do a Facebook Live with Chris Harrison yeah. where he announced all of Rachel's contestants on the show. So we're continuing to see all of these uh, big brands, just like ABC, utilizing Facebook Live, our favorite platform on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And it really got people engaged talking about the different contestants on social media which was trending on Monday night on, yes, it was. on Twitter. I've already read all the spoilers because I have no patience <laughs> but she gave a big spoiler herself and yes. let everyone know that she is already engaged and happily engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be <laughs> I will definitely be watching this season, but I hope there's still drama, even though we now know it's a happy ending, oh, yeah. because that's why you watch for the drama and to judge Isn't all the there contestants. there always a happy ending on The Bachelor? Oh, there's Juan one. Pablo? No, no. No, that was not happy. Juan Pablo, no. Juan Pablo, no. That was good, Caitlin. Yeah. Well, we're excited to have one of our favorite Social Fly friends here in June for a special edition of Social Live. We're going to have reality Steve here talking about everything going on uh, on this season of The Bachelorette. But he will not be sharing the spoilers live on air because Amber will get very upset at us. So we're going to try to keep who won uh, under wraps here. And we're not allowed to participate in our Bachelorette bracket, Jules. Wow. Um, <laughs> so
So we'll see what's trending next Monday, but definitely check out The Bachelorette on Twitter. You'll see what all the past contestants are, are tweeting about. Mm -hmm. So speaking about other things that are trending. Other things that are trending, and I am extremely passionate about this subject. Uh, Carpool Karaoke with <laughs> Katy Perry aired, I think yesterday, last night, and Katy Perry addressed the feud with Taylor Swift, and I have literally been waiting for this for months because they keep announcing, like, dropping songs, going back and forth, and Katy Perry dropped Swish Swish last week. She's been getting all these questions about what it's about, and she finally addressed that there is a situation between herself and Taylor Swift. And James Corden is trustworthy, so I would tell him anything, so I feel like that's why she <laughs> opened up to him. And she said that Taylor is the one who has to end the beef. It's over backup dancers, and Katie said that was just stupid. So I will be following this story more than I already do because I want to know if Taylor Swift is going to finally address what is going on or she's going to release a new song. Well, I hasn't don't she know. been like just gone? Period. She's been well, gone. We haven't used our Taylor Swift. Swift. Kanye. We haven't used our Taylor <laughs> Swift time. <laughs> I want Katy Perry and Kanye to release a song. Yes, that would be good. One. Well, yes, they did both date him. I, I thought it was about that. No, That's it's over backup oh, dancers. Yeah. Apparently, Taylor tried to steal Katy's backup dancers, Whoa. which is That's shady. Like, no, no. And you know what feud I think might be starting on social media? Ellen DeGeneres and Jessica Simpson. They were trending all over social media yesterday as the most awkward interview of all time on the Ellen Show. It was really bad. The Britney Min Spears gives pretty awkward interviews. Don't talk uh, about Britney like that. <laughs> and awkward Instagram videos, so that's another yeah. story. So look up the Jessica Simpson video on Ellen on YouTube. She you okay? will, Not you sure. will thank me so. for watching that one. It, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. I think she was on something. But or or she's trying to first. Maybe she's <laughs> playing. You, first. you know what Jessica Simpson proves to everyone in America? Anyone can start a billion dollar empire. Yeah. Even I think she, she even I think she even it's said true. that. I could do it. Anyone could do it. Absolutely. Okay. So and we will see what happens with uh, that trend on Twitter. And speaking of more fun things on Instagram, the Billboard Awards were on Sunday night, and Sam has all of the fashion trends that we may have missed on Instagram. I do, I do. So just like Jules, I'm very impatient. I didn't look up who the who the winner of The Bachelorette is this season, actually. But I do turn to Instagram to see what the red carpet looks are because I don't like to watch E! anymore and just wait for Juliana Rancic to bring them out. And I just don't have the patience because I might <laughs> miss them and then I don't get to see the full dress. So I turn to my Instagram feed. So these are my favorite and least favorite looks. So I loved Leah Michelle. She had a great turn on a little black dress here. As we can all see, it has cutouts. She looks amazing. The top knot, I'm just loving this look. Another look, Vanessa Hudgens. She actually co-hosted the event. She had a ton of costume changes and she looked gorgeous the entire time. And she really proved to all of America and everyone watching that she is an amazing singer. Her, oh my gosh, her range is insane. If you, if you watch her intro, She's she was great. unbelievable. Um, and then another look I loved was Kate Beckinsale here in a firework dress. She looks stunning. Mm -hmm. And then least favorite, Halsey, sweetie, what are you doing here? <laughs> My mom actually texted me and said, who is that girl and what is she wearing on stage? She was presenting and she just looked, looked a little messy. <laughs> and then Jason Derulo, you do not wear velour in 96 degree Vegas weather, especially with maroon pants and loafers. You look a mess. But I did love your performance with Nicki Minaj. That was an awesome, awesome moment and everyone on social media was Sing talking about it. Sam. I don't know about that, but maybe next time. Whoa. Um, so yeah, that, that's my billboard update. And definitely turn to Instagram whenever you're watching any big red carpet because a lot of the worst and best looks are always featured on your favorite um, posts. So, I love it because I can just catch up on everything that I missed because I didn't watch the Billboard Awards, but I checked everything out on Instagram. So thank you guys for tuning in to another Gracias. episode of Social Live, Woo! coming to you live from our Simply Fit Boards. Don't forget to share this episode and tag a friend for your chance to win <laughs> your very own Simply Fit Boards. Fun and easy to use, and now I can burn off all the calories from our Fruit of Pops. Have a great week, everyone, and Courtney, we'll see you next week. Adios, amigos. Bye, everyone. <laughs>